We just had dinner with Ryan Johnson, the guy that directed Star yes. Wars, and I unloaded on him. You and me, we grew up watching Star Wars. Star Wars is white, like British weird accent. And I'm used to that because that's what I was raised with. I'm not used to seeing Asians and blacks on Star Wars. Like Star Wars for me is white and I'm cool with it and I love it. There's no Asians in that, in the next trilogy that came after the original, but there's like Asian, like tax collector federation guys. And they're like, oh, where's my money? Like we're there, like these grotesque aliens, like with the worst, worst Asian accent, the most yeah. racist shit ever. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Then Rogue One comes out. And we're like, oh, fuck, there's Asian. We went to go see it together. We go see it, and blind kung fu master? Blind kung fu. We've never, ever been in a fucking Star Wars movie, and the first time we're in it, we're blind kung fu master and probably gay? Then Ryan comes out with Last Jedi, and I'm like, Ryan's a fucking artist. He's like, comes from an indie background. I can't wait. And then... Oh shit, there's an Asian girl in here. She's like the president of the ASB club and like Glee club and I'm gonna tell on you, like that kind of girl. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at all the Star Wars movies and I'm like, fuck dude. They've hit every single stereotype, like nerdy, annoying, blind kung fu master. And I say all this because we're not on TV. Yeah. We're not in movies. And so when we are, that's what we are. Anytime an Asian is represented in media, it fucking carries a lot of weight. If Bruce Lee is the guy, then everyone thinks every Asian kid at school does Kung Fu. And then uh, 80s uh, John Hughes movies, you got Long Duck Dong. Yeah. Right? And then that's what we are. Everyone, Every Asian is that stereotype. We're the guys from Gung Ho. Right, exactly. Oh, hot chick. So what's your point, Dave? What are you trying to say? Keep Star Wars white. Cha-cha!